Uh, this is Irina Grachova and Irina Grachova Racing Project and uh, today on the board of Canopus we have uh, uh, Pierre Mozan. Merci, uh, merci beaucoup Irina. <laughs> Thanks very much for taking me uh, on the race. <laughs> Currently racing just to try to be on time on the line. Uh, the situation will be can be very tricky. Now we almost don't have a wind and we will fight against a lot of currents. <laughs> we are not expecting uh, much wind anyway. No. no. So it will be uh, racing, racing the current. Yep. A new, racing a the new experience for me, so that you, to that extent, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> that was a safety check. Uh, they check our life jackets and the uh, harness. Uh, and uh, in this uh, race, we have uh, five uh, protos only, and three of them Lombard uh, projects. So it's uh, really a Lombard race. The Lombard Cup. <laughs> Lombard Cup. <laughs> One long bar has to win. <laughs> uh, here we have uh, two our main competitors. Uh, it's uh, two uh, Lombard project boats, new, uh, 950 and 945. Uh, both are Lombard. And our boat is uh, also Lombard project, but uh, a little bit uh, older. Uh, so, Pierre, you know about this uh, boat a um, lot? <laughs> I know about this boat a lot, effectively, because my colleague uh, built it. Uh, it's uh, uh, quite a bit older than those two, but in uh, the condition we expect, uh, we believe uh, in ourselves, no? And especially the boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, the start will be crucial, for sure. And um, unfortunately, we are delayed because there are so little winds, the committee does not uh, want to start the, the race with no wind and unfortunately the current is not waiting so it yeah be even more entertaining we really want to start right now there is not a lot of wind as well so if everybody is going to one side we go to the other because if we get if we get moved, uh, no wind it's not a Right now it's not possible to start with Starbucks at all, so we don't cross the line. Yeah, we don't cross the line if we are on Starbucks. Two minutes to do the bar. Melvin, you saw him? Yeah, I see. Thirty seconds for the Salle du P. Okay, Melvin is clear. Okay. One minute in ten seconds. Uh, we will 
position. We put ourselves in a good position. This is very super, super happy for that. And um, I'm a little bit nervous as always <laughs> if everyone gets to better conditions <laughs> to just overtake us. But we try our best to keep speed and uh, good angles. how we race today. <laughs> Let me show you. This is where we are absolutely stuck with the current coming here big way and we can actually see it. Uh, we had at least two miles lead and now we have two meters as you can see. So we kind of lost two miles minus two meters. And now we are forced to just make turns in a very little spot uh, looking how water is going out. <laughs> see, that's where we are. You see Aina? There, there are trees. Yes. You know? Après, sinon, il faudrait passer just the truc, rentrer dedans. Comme ça, mais bon. Oui, oui, oui. C'était mon idée. C'était mon rêve. Mais... Tu vois, il faut arriver à passer derrière, c'est impossible. Ouais. Impossible. Merci Block Marine. Did we get better information from Block Marine? No, oh, but this is it. Huh? Right. So uh, apparently we can go at midnight, no? Or one o'clock? One o'clock. One o'clock. One o'clock we can go. Okay. So all fleets will wait until current change in the night. Sportsmanship. <laughs> Painful. Very painful. Sportsmanship. <laughs> we actually can go to the harbor to take a beer. <laughs> we did so well, and uh, well, anyway, such is uh, the way of. Uh, this is the way of sailing. Sometimes you lose big. But now we feel as a real uh, Figaro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feels like a promotion. <laughs> now we are being stuck in. in uh, like a real Figaro, like we being Figaro. stuck. <laughs> We need to apply it. Making one more attempt to pass. <laughs> speed up, speed up, speed up. Oh, look at this. was not possible. Good try, huh? Yeah, not bad. I don't have so much experience uh, with uh, this sail and uh, I never find the uh, uh, correct uh, usage for it. Et voilà. Now we are going upwind with a uh, small Janak and we did a little burger for a jeep to keep both sails. We will see. We just trim our sails for uh, not dead up wind and uh, wind change again. 90 degree one side, 90 degree another side. Janak, Jeep. Small Janak, ah. big Janak. See <laughs> Cargo, non pas cargo. Cargo is good. 
So this is day two of no, not even day two. Uh, yeah, kind of. This beginning. is kind of no, 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 no. End of day one. This is end of day one. <laughs> Uh, exhausted. The night was short, not much sleep, and very, very technical condition. And Irina is doing a very good job. Sometimes. <laughs> while, Sometimes. While I'm sleeping. And then now we went here by most northern boat. We went to the north, we were struggling a lot against uh, the current and uh, with very slow winds and uh, now we got the wind shift and we will be with Zhenak. Uh, kind of good speed, uh, 7.5. Current is helping us now, 6 uh, knots uh, the boat speed to the water. Yeah, and the uh, is steering on this. Uh, kind of, huh? Because uh, the boat is very, very well equ equilibrated. So it doesn't. So I'm almost pretending. And uh, no, super happy. Okay. It's a new day on board of Canopus and. Uh, we are struggling again against the current and uh, last three miles last three hours we made the uh, minus three miles <laughs> a lot of energy fighting against uh, the cold as well <laughs> and uh, it's uh, totally foggy visibility is uh, very close to zero. Uh, we have some competitors uh, not far from us. We have uh, Mahi Mahi and the uh, Italian boat somewhere. But no possible to see them. Trying to set up the best combination uh, to move in a very, very, very slow winds against the current. For us it's uh, this combination, uh, big Junak. Solent and full main. We'll see because uh, the Fogo 3 and Vector, Italian boat and uh, Julien, they have um, Grand Spi. At least they had a Grand Spi uh, before all this foggy stuff. So we see, we compare. Uh, here is uh, passing. Radio Blanche. It looks like uh, nothing is happening. <laughs> he is uh, standing still, but it's not true. He is uh, moving for uh, 4.4 knots. <laughs> Let me show you how it looks from the sales point of view. So, not always uh, well trimmed. <laughs> but we are still doing well, we think, uh, yeah. we hope, uh, we will see. And I'm having my cooking moment, my petite cuisine. Uh, here we will uh, eat uh, pasta with chicken and chili con carne. The water is almost boiling and I fill up uh, some fresh water for drinking. This is how we live.
Nearly there. Take the red a bit. That's it. Okay. Take the blue one now. Okay. Okay, you can take the sack. Okay, head. <laughs> it was a super fast, we just drop all sails uh, uh, very fast, Pierre jump, took it out, climb back, and we hoist everything back. Uh, we almost didn't lose anything. How was it? Uh, it was great. Thank you very much to gave me the opportunity. Uh, it's, um, it happened twice before where I was in a good position and I had things in a kill and I never managed to, to jump, uh, it was just uh, in, in the head and uh, we were, I believe, in a good position today and so we just had to keep that position and uh, thank you very much for your support saying that. <laughs> That's super good. Flying the kite in the very slow wind. We use our trigger to make it better to adjust it better hi Irina you have something to tell us yes uh, now I uh, was following your example and uh, dive <laughs> we got a huge bush of uh, seaweeds on kill and uh, was uh, doing just two knots instead of five so it was very very uh, stressful and uh, we are first and uh, it was so stressful to lose the position so so because it's fully dark as we can see <laughs> you decided to jump yes it's a uh, part of my preparation for transat <laughs> and uh, thank you for uh, the day example <laughs> Well, uh, well, 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 I'm not sure I would have done it during the night, but uh, so you're not completely cold with the adrenaline. Yes, it's a... Uh, and, ah, and we still have 36 miles to do, hopefully, avoiding fishermen's who are absolutely everywhere. We nearly collided. Absolutely crazy. Uh, with two fishermen. We were fishing and we nearly went into their nets in between them. So it's a tricky night so far. Uh, and thank you, Irina. You are extremely, extremely uh, tough and fast. Et ben, bonne nuit. Bonne nuit. Bonne douche. <laughs> this is the last morning of this race. Can I do Yeah. Yeah. Number one. We are super super happy and uh, super super tired. The race was uh, very long, not in distance but in time. Uh, quite exhausting. And uh, uh, this night I got some uh, sleep. Thanks uh, for Pierre <laughs> to give me this opportunity uh, after my dive. Uh, hot tea, nice sleep, <laughs> everything what I needed. So now we are. Um, 
fresh but tired and uh, approaching the finish line in uh, five miles. Absolutely. Uh, well, thank you, Irina, for taking me on board. Uh, I'm extremely happy. One of the slowest races yeah. I've done for sure. Uh, but um, a very good of level of energy on board. Uh, it was, uh, very good to share this navigation with you. Uh, I think we have a uh, not similar level, but we know different things and uh, it made uh, the navigation very very Thank you very much. Yeah, you always welcome. <laughs> it was very nice to sail with uh, yeah, like super good. <laughs> Thank you very much, Irina. <laughs> we officially won the race. Yeah. <laughs> you are very good, and your boat is very, very good. Yeah, we officially won the race, and it looks like we can't believe. <laughs> 16 miles away is the second. We have seen him um, last time on Aisha. It was eight miles, and it's not possible to believe. We could increase uh, the separation in our eight miles. <laughs>